Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 8 where we are learning a lot on arithmetic progressions. Friends, this is episode number 4 and today we are going to take a look at uh, another type of questions that we may get on arithmetic progressions and more importantly how do we solve them. So say for example if an AP is given, how can we find out the first term and the common difference? So these type of questions we are going to take a look at part 2 because in episode 3 was the part 1 where we looked at one more types of one more type of questions on arithmetic progression. So friends, so let's let's take a look. So this is question number four, because we actually looked at three questions in our episode three, the last episode, which was part one. So we are going to have a running total on the question count. So AP is given, find the first term and the common difference. So this is the AP which is given to us. So clearly <laughs> this is not a very big uh, you know challenge to find the first term, right? So the first term is obviously 5. So A is equal to 5. A is our first term. Similarly, we can just look at it and say that A2, which is the second term, is 2. A3, which is our third term, that actually is equal to minus 1. A4, which is our fourth term, is minus 4. And finally, A5, which is our fifth term, is equal to minus 7. Now, you don't have to write all of these values, the a1 um, or a, a2, a3, a4, a5 and all of that because we have to find out, so the first term is very clear, that is 5. So we have actually found the first term. The common difference, which is represented as d, now it can be, you can pick any of these numbers uh, from second term onward. So let's say we pick this term, which is the fourth term. So common difference will be a4 minus a3. So if you do that, so a4 is minus 4 minus a3 is minus 1. Make sure that you don't mix up the negative signs. So a4, this is a4, right? So a4 is minus 4 and then minus this minus a3, A3 itself is minus 1. So if you solve this, you will have minus 4 plus 1 or minus 3. So the common difference is minus 3. Now what we do know is that the common difference remains same in a given AP. So what if, if you would have picked this term, the second term? So in that case, common difference would have been A2 minus A. So what is a2? a2 itself is 2 minus a is 5. So 2 minus 5 is again minus 3. Minus 3. So the reason I showed you all of this, the second, third, fourth and fifth term, is that to find out the common difference, if it is given that the series of numbers is arithmetic progression, it does not matter which term you pick from second term onwards. If you pick any of the term and if you subtract the previous term from it, then you will get the same common difference. So the value of D will basically be the same regardless of which two consecutive terms you pick. Right? So let's take a look at a few more uh, questions uh, on this. So again, we are looking to find out the first term and the common difference where uh, we have been given an AP. So clearly in this case, A is minus 6. So to find out D, which is the common difference, how about this time we pick this term? This is 1, 2, 3, 4. So this will be A4, fourth term. So if you we, if we pick the fourth term, then we have to subtract the term previous to that from it. So a4 minus a3. So what is a4? a4 is 0 minus what is a3? a3 is minus 2. Minus 2. Again, just want to make sure that you keep in mind about this term because the term itself is negative and this minus is the minus here. So you are subtracting a3 from a4. So if you do that, so it will be 0 minus minus will become plus 2. So 0 plus 2 is 2. That means in this particular series or arithmetic progression, common difference is, common difference is going to be 2. Similarly, if you would have picked, let's say, this term, 
which is the fifth term, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then D would have been A5 minus A4, which will be equal to, so 5, A5 is 2, minus A4 is 0, and we would have gotten the same, same value for the common difference, which is going to be 2. So, you don't have to find out multiple combinations, right? It, what I'm trying to show you is that you can just pick any term from second term onwards and just subtract the previous term from it to find out the common difference. So, let's take a look at one more example. So, in this case, our AP basically is in the form of a fraction. So, first term A is equal to this. Clearly, 5 by 2 is the first term. Now, for the common difference, how about this time we pick this term, right? So, if you pick this term, which is going to be minus 1 by 2, this is the term, and then we have to subtract the previous term from it. And what is the previous term? It is 1 by 2, plus 1 by 2. So, what we get is we have minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2. So, this will be 2 will be denominator, and it will be minus 1, minus 1, so this will be minus 2 by 2 or equal to minus 1, minus 1. So the common denominator, a common difference I should say, for this given AP, this AP is minus 1. And you can actually test this out very simply by taking maybe any of the other values. So for example, if I take this value and if I add common difference to this, am I getting the third term? We can actually test that. That is a good way to test that if your number is indeed correct. So for example, this is second term. So if I take second term and if I add common difference to it, then I should get the third term, right? So my second term is 3 by 2. Let's just do this, 3 by 2, plus I want to add the common difference, which is minus 1. So if you do that, then you will get 2 is your denominator. So 3 minus, denominator here is 1. So 1, 2 are 2. So 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. So 3 minus 2 is 1 by 2. So is this the same as the third term? Indeed it is. So third term is 1 by 2. So this is indeed equal to the third term. So our answer minus 1 is correct for the common difference. So let's see if you want to do one more question. Find the first term. Clearly this is the first term. A is equal to 2 by 3. And common difference D in this case will be, we can take this, these two numbers, right? But I'm noticing that denominator is 6 here and denominator is 6 here. So I'm thinking it will be a little bit more easier if we take these two terms to find out the common difference. So I'll use these two terms. So it will be 10 by 6, which is a third term, minus 7 by 6, which is a second term. So if I do that, 6 is my denominator, 10 minus 7, which is equal to 3 by 2. Actually, this will be 3 by 6. We got a little bit ahead of ourselves. It will be 3 by 6, or which will be equal to, we can cancel this out. 1 by 2, and this will be 1 by 2. So in this particular arithmetic progression series, our common difference is 1 by 2. So we can wrap this up. Uh, let's take one more question before we, uh, before we end this presentation. So our common, our first term is 0 0.6. As we can see, this is the first term. And our common difference will be, how about this time we take these two terms? So we will do A2 minus A or A1, so which will be 1.1 minus 0 0.6. So if you do that, you will get 0 0.5. So this will be the common difference. And we can simply cross-check our work. So, for example, if we take this term, and if we add 0.5, do we get the next term? And you will see that, indeed, 2.1 plus, plus 0.5, if you do that, 
you will get 2.6 which is the next step. So we know our answer is correct. This is how we solve these kinds of questions.